Hello everyone, I'm Outlandish Pixel. Last time we made some more steps towards capturing the Cadia system. We had two systems left, the Cantrell and Cadia system itself. Uh, our fleets are in Xerzia at the minute. We don't really have any money to buy in ships. Uh, but our ships are nearly at full strength. Uh, Spire ship needs some more troops. There's not a, a great regeneration rate in this system. Um, but I think it'll be fine. We want to... Uh, I think we made some good progress so far, considering we're on turn 7. Uh, I do want some more ships soon. I want much bigger fleets when we um, go in towards Cadia itself. What else happened? We have just got to level 2 Renown. Um, and I chose the um, Auxiliary Shield Capacitors as my upgrade. My first upgrade, 25% regeneration rate on shields to all ships, which I think was a good choice. I wonder, can I change? No, I am locked in. It didn't warn me, but I assumed uh, it would be uh, a locked point purchase. But by the looks of it, I mean, like, once I get to 13, how many... We got here. We got uh, eight, twelve, um, and then seventeen. Uh, I assume you might be able to get a higher rank than thirteen. So in theory, we'll be able to unlock all this by the end of the game. For now, I think this um, works to the benefit of most of the fleets. So, uh, there's nothing much I can really do at this time. 58 resources, can't really afford anything, so we'll just end the turn. Defense platform there, not so worried about that. Nothing else seems to have been achieved. These fleets have stayed where they are. These are locked in here at the minute. There is no way I can get an insight into what's in these. Fleets, no. I think we gotta take Cadia just because of all these points of interest. Look at all these things going on. I think it just makes sense to take Cadia. But we want a bigger fleet. Um so last time I uh oh actually. Yeah, last time I mistakenly thought that the shipyard and the level here, related to what kind of ships you could unlock, it wasn't. It was my renowned level, and now I have unlocked cruisers. So, I'm probably going to buy a new ship. I'm just going to look at the Space Marine ships. I think they're too expensive. I don't think I can afford um, a cruiser. It takes ages. Come on. I have clicked the button, by the way. It's just paused. There we go. Um, right. No, so these... I've unlocked cruisers. I guess because these shipyards are minor shipyards. And that's why. So they can only do max light cruisers. That must be it. So I can't even afford... Some more vanguards, because they are quite expensive for light cruisers. The cheapest is well, 165. Uh, we go to the Adeptus Mechanicus, who seem to be the most cost-effective of the Imperium thus far. I don't know if there's a way for me to jump from fleet to fleet without going out of the shield uh, chip purchase screen, so I don't have to wait for this long. This is a much longer wait than last time. Um, yeah, much cheaper. I feel like I've got more... And I feel like um, my two... I've got two... I've got Endeavor and Endurance. I feel like I've got uh, a lot of um, my money's worth out of these. 
but I can't afford any of these anyway. Let's look at Spire's fleet. So I should probably upgrade yours. He's still only got one out of 12 troops. That sucks. Wow, this is taking forever. Is there not a quick way to change from fleet to fleet? Can't see any button to do it. Hmm. So what can I afford? I feel like a light cruiser in this battle group might be of use. So I'm probably going to go with that. Um, now which kind do we want? So we've got a lunar cruiser at the minute, which is kind of generic all-round. All-round cruiser. Uh, with torpedoes, lances, and batteries. Um, there's a big pausing going on when I select things. Um, we, can't, we can't afford a Defiant. I'm wondering if some launch bays might be good. Maybe the Heavy Lance, to be honest. Any of these have launch bays? Oh, maybe not. Oh no. Yeah, Define does, we can't afford it. I kind of like... Gotta feel like just saving my money and just getting a... Um, getting a Mechanicus Light Cruiser again, because I feel like they're just worth it. Because I like, was this too... But then the, the whole... I don't know, I feel like... But the uh, the light cruisers of the Mechanicus, they they almost are as almost as big as cruisers, and seem to be just like have done a lot better than this lunar cruiser. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so speed, big difference in speed here. Uh, the Endeavour and Endurance, slightly lower cost, they don't have that front armour, and they are also much slower. So what is their benefit? Really? What's the equivalence here? You and... So you and you, fairly similar. Your double barrel light macro turret. That's just a light macro turret. Six damage. Number of attacks one. Number of attacks six. Uh, oh, it's on the light. There's not much in it, and I don't really see what the benefit is. To be honest. That heavy lance might be nice, rather than torpedoes. I might go for that Dauntless. Um, which did not- oh, I thought I bought it. Apparently not. And now let's wait again, there we go. Uh, Dauntless, uh, Mark 1, there we go. We'll get that. Okay. So now, in total, our fleet is much better than this one. However, our flagship does not have many troops. Which kind of sucks. I don't really know why. Let's have a look at... What's the rate here? This is plus eight troops regeneration. So 
Why is this Luna Cruiser still on one? What are you on? You're on plus eight, plus eight, plus eight, plus eight, plus eight a turn. So next turn, you better be more. Because I'm going to probably sit and wait. I haven't got any money. So I'm just going to end the turn. Ah. Well. What can you do, really? What's this? We have detected an enemy incursion. We must defend the Emperor's realm. Right. Ah! If a system is occupied by two enemy fleets or more, assaults may be launched on adjacent systems. The higher the threat value of a faction in the sector, the more likely the fleets of that faction will launch assaults. Enemy assaults of Asians targeting the systems under control can be delayed with battle plans. Roll over the attack symbol to display that option. Battle plans may be required in two ways. Some points of interest in the systems under your control will provide you with battle plans, and they can be captured by performing assault actions on enemy flagships. Right. So. So what do I have to select a ship? And then... How do I stop this from happening? Now, I guess I could defend. Ah, now I could do that and it will give us some time. Um, to finish healing these fleets. We'll also give them time to do more as well, but... I feel like we should test it out. We could have sacrificed this <laughs> to take Cadia. But no. Um, let's not do that. So if I apply... So that means in one turn, yeah? So I don't have any battle plans, do I? So I can't... It said to, like, select the attack. I can't seem to do that. Don't really know what it meant. Let's see what happens when I build this minefield. Yes, right, so it's delayed it. So I'll give that a chance to get my troops back up. And we'll end the turn again. Ah, uh, they've got another escort ship. That's the risk. That's just one fleet. So in theory, that one fleet is going to go there. So this is actually a good way to let them split up. If I send two fleets over here, then I don't have to face all of them. And I could just defend this. I could defend it, and I could... No, I can't afford that. So if I was to send... I could send two fleets over here, yeah? So, maybe the Imperials along with the Space Marines... Send them over there. And we'll send the Space Marines as well. Or do I want the Mechanicus? I'm liking the Mechanicus so far. Um, yeah, I'll keep the Space Marines topped up health wise. We'll send them over here. And we've got a little bit of money. I feel like we should save it. I could get a minefield on here. So I wonder, if they attack here, will I get my turn first? So will I be able to build a defense platform? I'm going to save my money and find out. Let's do a quick save, why not? Just in case things royally fuck up. Um, I think this will be a worthy experiment. End turn. But I need to make some progress. 
Here we go. Nice. Okay, this kind of played to our advantage. So retreat positions. I still don't really know what this means. Oh, so we can move away to three systems away or something. I guess. Anyway, launch battle. Let's defend our system. This is great. This has worked out perfectly for us, really. Great. So I've still not done any um, skirmishes, really. I've done a couple. Imperial. Um, but it's just against the AI. I want to do some ranked soon and just kind of start to level up in a chosen fleet. Well, I was going to do skirmishes in every fleet just to see who I like to play as and then start doing ranked in one or two factions that um, I just liked the... Uh, the gameplay of really I'm predicting maybe Dark Eldar because um, or Drakari if you like because they um, get some I should have to sort this out I did have V-Sync on and that seems to be off and causing me issues so let's resume that there we go um, yeah the Drakari Apparently, uh, when they kind of like auto stealth or something, and I do like to play stealthy in games, so that might be uh, my faction of choice. It will be micro heavy, though. All right, so how many we got here? There's, there's just fewer than usual. There's five in total. There's a big wall here of asteroids. They're going to have to maneuver around to get to that one. Which will... They'll be delayed in doing. That's what the AI decides to do. I'm going to get ready to snipe that. So... I mean, we're going to have... The... Well, the Firestorm. Go down there. The sword will be coming down here. Um, let's set you groups. So for you guys as one. You guys as two. Um, three. Four. Okay, so we're going to have you running silent. You running silent. You guys are all going to be lock on. And probably have you heading straight for. You're gonna. I'm gonna keep them all together for the most part. And they're all gonna be heading straight to this one. Yeah. All right. Heading acknowledged. Right. So you head over there. I want you to be. Starting to head this way. Changing course. So that one first. They're all up there. Might get in probe your out. Orders. Do we have a probe? Receiving your order. Yeah, all the probe. It's F2. I need to remember those. Uh... Go there. Remember these hotkeys. I'll remember them eventually. We wait your command. You know what? I'm going to head this way. Since they're all over there, I'm going to go straight for them. And I'm going to... We serve. Probably... Try and... While they're distracted, get this one. I assume the AI will come straight to this. And then this one's going to... This frigate will come around the side. Try and claim it. Can I get any cheeky torpedoes oh, off? Uh, Thrust turn a bit. Active. Some torpedoes out. We are ready to serve. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Yep, yeah. torpedoes coming Rouse their way. The Hopefully engines. they'll go right into path of that. Setting course. Let's get some of these torpedoes out as well. 
Aye, Admiral. May as well make use of them. Changing course. Right, what kind of range have we got at the minute? We'll stick Enemy to 13.5. Um We serve. Yeah, move on, move on up, guys. Move on up. We you there yet? Command. Nice and slow. You're about to capture that. Good. Ship ready. All right, well, we've seen you, mate. You have seized a strategic area. Good, good, good. Who's that? I see you over there. Ship ready. Well, you've got the heavy lance, haven't you? So you can chase that down. You guys want to take out that. You can head straight over here as well. Just get in there. Just keep your front to them for the moment. You can get a few troops out onto that. Weapon destroyed. Let's focus on your um, generators. The deck's destroyed as well. Lovely. Stay there. I see you over there. Let's keep stasis bomb on you. You head up over there. You head over there and take that, please. State your order. Your generator down. Focus on generators, please. Course engaged. Nice, nice, nice. Get a plasma bomb there. You have seen your trap there. Good to know. Get some troops teleporting over there. We want a mutiny, and we got that mutiny, and we got destruction. Nice work, boys. All right, Spy, you can chase that down. Let's get close range. Auto engagement on. We want some repairs over there, please. Troops over there. Chase it down, please. You guys can focus on that as well. In fact, go straight for it. Let's turn. We'll try and get some torpedoes. Fire those torpedoes. Straight towards it. Lock on. We'll aim to get behind you. You can keep doing your broadsides. Aim to get a bit closer. This torpedo's going to hit. Oh, just. Nice. There you go, Inspire. Course. Stay on its tail. Targeting enemy vessel. Go right up to it. Stay on its tail. Let's get some torpedoes Understood. out. Underway. I think that was a bit too late. Maybe not. At his angle. I think this will be pretty good, actually. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, that ship's almost done. Oh, I thought I captured that. Obviously not. Well, we're almost done. We've taken minimal damage. No real troop damage to speak of. This is nice. Um, I'm actually gonna select everyone. Let's select everyone. We serve. And let's just set some defaults back. 13.5. Engage your angle sides. Target locked in. Uh, nope, you stay over there, please. I you head over there. Um, and we'll have the. I'm just setting this up for the next battle, really. Because I think it remembers this. Ready. For the most part. Engagement angles. There we go. That'll do. Yeah, nice. We wait your command. But you can go and lock on. Engaging Get up nice engines. and close. I'm not gonna do any reckless ramming today. Engaging. And we'll just let watch this play out. Get some uh, screenshots. That's cool. Other ships. That's sweet. 
Just got an accidental uh, ramming there. To serve the What's cool is I can uh, control them in this mode as well. Nice uh, screenshots. Looks cool. Look at that. You have seized a strategic area. Nice. Yes. Lovely. Nice and easy. You have accumulated. I think I worried about these fleets points. in Cadia. That was basically a suicide for them. Lovely stuff. We're not going to waste too much time. We'll get straight into the next battle, I think. Take Cadia. Now, since I defended, I assume I still get my movement. Maybe not. We'll find out. You know, still learning things about this game. And this will make me more efficient for the rest of the campaign. Figuring these things out. Nice. Oh, uh, we did get some damage on the Dauntless. That happened really early on, actually. I remember that happening. No, we don't have any movement. No, we do, because that was the enemy's turn. All right. Uh, and I think that damage got repaired to the turret. By the looks of it. So I think we're going to have like two light cruisers um, and a couple escorts, maybe three. I think we should take Cadia though. Got a little bit of money. I feel like saving it. Perhaps. I mean, that'll be cheaper in the long run. This increases troop regeneration. Um, resource generation. But you are upgraded fully. Construction. Uh, how about this? This grants more resources per turn. Unlocks Mechanicus Enclaves upgrade. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this, I think. Best purchase of the moment. And I don't think we need to repair much. There are defense platforms here. I don't see what the point of a minefield is then for the AI. If I can ignore it and just warp in. So does this mean only two fleets can get in? I assume so. We're going to warp in anyway. We'll get the Mechanicus again. Well, Space Rings could do with some more experience, though. But if, it, if the... Um, I don't know what type of battle this is supposed to be. At the minute, they've mainly been objective battles. But I don't know what indicates that, because if they're objective battles, I'd rather have the extra escort. I think it's quite useful, even though I'm not winning by objectives, really. Which is silly, isn't it? When you think about it. I'll get the uh, Mechanicus in here, but I really need to start using Space Marines and get their experience up. I think... So their leadership numbers will be higher, I think, because of the platform. But I'm not going to go near the platforms. So I think we'll be okay. I may as well bring the Space Marines in as backup. Oh, they can't. Uh, so there isn't a slot here. So how is that? determined. So is that for the AI when they have... Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, the minefields prevent me from having a third fleet. Okay. Um, 
Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll just go for it then. So 430 points of Thousand Suns. Yeah, they got more, but it's based on their defenses. Just gonna launch a battle. I'm still confident. We'll see how long that confidence lasts. I feel like loading times have increased since I last turned this game on. All right. Spire, the not so useless Spire, he's back. I don't know why he was so rubbish in the uh, last episode. Okay. So it's just a cruiser clash. How do you want to play this? Right, so they're right in the middle. I'm going to be avoiding them, basically. They don't appear here. Um, I'm going to be avoiding them. I'm going to make the enemy come to me. And I'm going to be hiding. What's your range like? Can I select you? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I'll make him come to me. And keep this cruiser here. It'll be stealthed. We're going to be in the corner. You can go either side. Of the flagship. And I guess we'll, we'll keep the escorts here as well. Keep all these on um, running silent. So these don't reset, but these do reset, I've just noticed. That's fine. We're going to keep as far away as possible. We're going to have you on auto-engage. Um, you guys could be group one. Then we'll just keep you as group two. Keep things simple. Right, ready. Group two. Coordinates acknowledged. Just sit in there, please. Heading acknowledged. You guys. Oh, let's keep auto-engage off then. You're immediately going towards the uh, platforms. I'm going to leave the platforms be. Two ships. Okay. Let's get the auger probe, probe out. They're going to be heading straight towards us. So I might as well just fire a straight arm. Ship ready. We'll be getting here. Engines. This little cloud as well. If we can fit in there, all three of us, nice and snug. That's cool. That's really cool. I love it. I just love the design of these ships. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry. Just admiring the ships. Right. So you are... I took you off fort engage, should I? All right, my probe should be about to hit them. There's three ships here. Enemy sighted. Right, we're going to go for um, generators on you. Two light cruisers. Generators. 
Right, what have you got? I want to learn this. I'm going to pause this just while I'm learning ships. They're both Hellbringers. Double barrel heavy lance. Triple barrel heavy barrel heavy macros as well. Okie dokie. I mean, this could go down pretty... Uh, hello. Go down fairly swiftly. Two more escorts. So this is an escort heavy team. Okay. Are they going to come straight through there? They're gonna sit there, are they? Heading acknowledged. There's some torpedoes out. Burn sit still. Sit still. Calculating vectors. They are gonna head this way. Fire some torpedoes as well. Got some hits. Gonna get some stasis bomb out. Uh, here, Ship ready. And we are going to go into lock on, Coordinates start firing. Launched. On the move. Right, boys. Your orders. You're coming out. Lock on. Target Take out the escort, please. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Impossible. Get the troop damage. Troop damage. Your orders. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, head round the back of it. That's what I like to see. Engaging. Absolutely beautiful. Ship you guys. Ready. Let's get nice and close. Stay close as well. We serve. Torpedoes. Engine damaged. Repair. Machine spirit appeased. Heavy turn. High energy turn. Keep firing on that. Keep firing on that, please. Receiving your order. Understood. Oh dear. Plaza bomb. Let's take out those hiding ships there. Weapons destroyed. Good to know. Oh, I'm gonna hit it. Brace for impact. Hit it. Nice. Bye, Admiral. Head this way. Go for that one, please. Well, you can stop that now. Speed. Burn retros. Turn that way. Efficiency. Keep firing. Receiving your order. Engaging. You guys can just follow these, please. Keep close. With matchless efficiency. Let's mark those. We serve. Let's get ready some torpedoes. Uh, you can fire some torpedoes. You can follow it. Underway. You can fire some torpedoes. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. <laughs> that was a bad torpedo. Lightning strike successful. Nice. Engaging engines. How are we doing, guys? Lock on, Engaging head this way. Oh, watch out. Uh, you can boost this way, please. Course engaged. To do a turn. Nice. We serve. Hold still. Targeting enemy vessel. Fire on that. Hold Burn still, fire. Deck destroyed on that ship. You're down. You're going down. Enemy sighted. Just boost into it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Calculating vectors. High energy turn. Just torpedoes up. Nice. Teleport. Well, you're just sitting duck, mate. What are you doing? Ship ready. 
Turn around. Understood. Come back in here. We wait your command. Nice. Your orders. Right. Coordinates acknowledged. Right, head this way. Enemy sighted. We're on lock on, right? Setting course. Enemy sighted. Well, you're getting hit. You're in range of them. Enemy sighted. Course engaged. Let's boost you over here, Spire. Let's get you back into course. the action. Uh, are you on burn retros? You must be. State your order. The spirits head over here. Me. You can boost over here. Understood. Let's get a fire off. Heading acknowledged. Cruising speed. Oh, is this going to be a perfect shot? Almost. Fire. Receiving your order. Engaging drive. Boom. Oh, did I just hit you? I may have just hit you. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Can't do any repairs. Do a lightning strike, though. Do a lightning strike. We are ready to serve. Ah, oh, I forgot to... I keep forgetting about that. So the boarding action is actually a better option, which just makes sense since it's harder to achieve. Rouse the engines. So we'll do a boarding action on here as soon as we can. Like so. Nice. You just circle around it. Bracer impact. Boost into it. Oh, yeah. High energy turn. These ships turn quite fast, actually. I feel like they do. Come on, boys. Ah, you're just a mess. Just a mess. Rounded. How are you still alive? There we go. Right. Re I guess we got to take these guys out. Coordinates Let's regroup. Speed this up. Target locked in. Focusing war sites. Everyone focus fire. Can anyone repair? Guess not. Right. He's got torpedoes. Transition begun. I think I've missed all my torpedoes then. Oh no, I didn't fire. There we go. Rouse the engines. You have some. Underway. Let's get you in position so you can fire them. Aye, Admiral. We serve. Engaging engine. Go towards it now, mate. There you go. Cruising speed set. Aye, Admiral. We can get a uh, lock on target off. Course you can just circle engaged. it. At 4.5. We wait your command. Now we'll do auto engagement as well. Shouldn't take too long. Aye, Admiral. Get some boarding action Receiving going. Your order. More boarding action. Ship ready. State your order. Nice. Impossible, Admiral. You're kind of in the middle of it there, mate. By faith in you. Is there any actual difference between a sword from the Mechanicus and a normal sword? Don't really know. 
You're not gonna hate each other, mate. We serve. Oh, guys. Boarding action. Skitari assault successful. No boarding action for you unless you do a turn. Oh, didn't mean to fire my torpedoes into nowhere then, but whatever. Ship ready. Warning teams have crippled the enemy. Nice. Your orders. Almost there. Oh, we got a um plasma bomb. May as well use it, eh? Ship ready. Don't know how much damage this will do to it. I'll probably kill it. Enemy yeah. State your order. Stasis bomb, no real point. I guess it'll stop it from attacking me. Causing any unnecessary damage we at this serve. stage. Everyone's on lock on, right? There we go. No, they are. Engaging targets. This is going to be unnecessary, I know. And... <laughs> Oh, I never realized that my my ammo coming into it was going slow as well. Oh. All right. So we defended against the forces of Cadia, and then we took the defenders of Cadia. And now Cadia is ours again. Sweet. Well, that was satisfactory. Spire took some damage. Spire always does. Alright, after the next battle, hopefully we will be at level 3. Nice! Cadia is ours. One system left. Well, of this mission, at least. So that's going to give us a big boost, surely, because there's a lot of stuff here. I've got a bit of money. Repair rate is not so good here. At all. So... Uh, no, sorry. Repair rate is good. That's production points. Doit. No, this is good. So we're going to leave them there. And in fact... Now you're actually... You're good as well. I'm going to bring you over here in preparation. Then I may as well do some upgrading. Question is what? So I can't upgrade a lot of these. So is this a regular shipyard? Will this let me build cruisers? It might just do that. Even though I defeated a lot of ships, a lot of fleets, my urgency is still going up. Yeah, the game has frozen again. There we go. So, Cadia, I can build cruisers here. Um, and I will be doing that. Excellent. It'll probably be a Space Marine cruiser as well for anything else. So, I want to optimize my... Oh, there's a minor shipyard here as well. Optimize my ability to build by getting my resources up. Um, generates resources. So, I can't upgrade that yet. I wish there was a way to filter this. Uh, no. Right, let's start from the beginning. Oh, this increases resources, so... We're going to upgrade that. Uh, I'm not so bothered about construction points at this time. So I'll come back to that. Clawston, you're upgraded. 
Pilatus. Uh, reduces the cost of evolutions. Steps. I just want resources right now. Okay, you're no good. And your evolution. Ag so Agri is evolution. And I can't do anything with any of that yet. Uh, and it's the outpost here, but the outpost is not accessible yet. And... Yeah, I can't upgrade you. Because I need more money. Huh. Okay. I'm going to get 132 next time. So maybe I'll do this because it will reduce this cost in the long run. So I'll do that. And leave the rest as is for the moment. Alright, well, I'll leave the episode there. Um, I feel like campaign management might become a bit tedious at times, especially when you kind of forget what's what. Um, I feel like points of interest could have a little symbol next to them showing you what kind of attributes they have from just so it's easier to find them rather than having to click on every single one at once uh, every single one um, before you find it uh, but you know the game's just come out these are little things that could be patched in I'm sure there will be some player feedback and there must be other people that agree with me um, that there is certain navigation um, elements here which could be nice it'd be nice to zoom out a bit as well. So maybe consider that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, subscribe if you are not currently subscribed. It would be most appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the black.